Assalamu alaikum. I welcome you all on my channel Medico Perks. So today we have another model with us that is of the human brain and we will just study the structures in detail. So let's get started. So first of all it is important to know that which is the anterior side and which is the posterior side. All right. So this one here is the anterior side. This one and this one is the posterior one, right? So how we can judge this that the side for the temporal lobe is always pointing towards the anterior side. So in this way, we're going to judge it, right? So first of all, let us see the lobes of the human brain. So on the front, we have the frontal, two frontal lobes. Then we have the parietal lobes. And on the back side, we have occipital lobes. And on the side, we have the temporal lobes, right? And when we just kind of open this model, then we can see here that here is the parieto occipital sulcus and this is the calcarine sulcus. So here we have the central sulcus and here we have the precentral gyrus that is also called as primary motor cortex. And on the front of central sulcus, we have this post central gyrus that is also called as somatosensory cortex, right? Also, on the side of the brain, sorry guys, our cerebral just popped out. Okay, so on the side of it, we have the lateral sulcus that is also called as sylvian fissure. And when we all kind of open it, we can find insula inside it. Full stop. And this is the longitudinal fissure that kind of divides the cerebral hemispheres. And also the dural sinuses and veins pass this area, so these need to get protected. And also we have the false cerebri here, that is the vertical dural expansion. Here, so here we have the transverse fissure and inside it we have the tentorium cerebelli that separates the cerebral hemispheres from cerebellar hemispheres. And when we just open this, we can see that here is the white matter of the cerebrum. And on the corners, you can see these pink ones. And this is the cerebral cortex. And when we just open it further, we can see that this is the lateral ventricle. This one, first stop. And this structure right here is the hippocampus and this, these white lines on the corners, these are called the association fibers. So having a look of the brain from this view, we can analyze the structures as, so this one right here is a corpus callosum. So here in this part, we are just looking at the structures of corpus callosum. So the structure right here is called as the genome of corpus callosum. Here is the trunk of corpus callosum. Here is the splenium of corpus callosum. And this is called as the rostrum of corpus callosum. And underneath it, we have a thin membrane, this one called as septum pellucidum. That is a thin membrane that separates the two lateral ventricles. And underneath it, you can see that here is the fornix that is connecting the limbic nuclei together. And here you can see the oval shaped structure. And this is called from here till here. This is called as thalamus. And the eye shaped structure in the middle is called as interthalamic connection, right? Here, as I told you that it appears as an oval shaped structure, but also when we look at it from another view, it can appear to us as a bird's eye. So here we can analyze the structure as the bird's beak and this appears as hypothalamus. All right, so here we have pineal body and this is the posterior commissure. This is the pretectal plate having superior colliculus and inferior colliculus. And here we have 
mammillary body this is optic chiasma and beneath it we we usually have a structure called as pituitary gland where right now it is not shown in this in the structure of brain as it is a part of endocrine system so moving on towards here this is the cerebral aqueduct that drains the third ventricle into the fourth ventricle so moving on towards the next structures of brain stem so here this area is comprising of midbrain that is also called as mesencephalon and underneath it we have pons and below pons we have medulla oblongata and at the side of brain stem we have the structure called as cerebellum so now moving on towards the parts of cerebellum we can see here that when the two parts of cerebellum are connected with each other like this we can see the middle part vermis like this then we have the part called as tonsil which is right here and then we have the part called as flocculus which is beneath it the small one and then we have the structure called as arbor vitae of cerebellum now moving on towards the cranial nerves of our brain we have here the second cranial nerve that is called as optic nerve and above it we have the first cranial nerve that is called as olfactory nerve that is traveling this way and moving on towards the further cranial nerves so here is the third cranial nerve that is called as the oculomotor nerve and the fourth cranial nerve which is from the inside you can see the fourth cranial nerve that is called as the trochlear nerve and then the fifth cranial nerve that is called as the trigeminal nerve the sixth cranial nerve that is the abducens nerve the seventh cranial nerve that is called as the facial nerve and then the eighth cranial nerve that is called as the vestibular cochlear nerve the ninth cranial nerve that is called as the glossopharyngeal nerve the 10th cranial nerve that is called as the vagus nerve the 11th cranial nerve that is called as the accessory nerve and here the 12th cranial nerve that is called as the hypoglossal nerve so here we are done with the nerves and here this nerve is called as the first cervical nerve